Here we have this column of equations. What we want to do is rewrite these as logarithms. So we're going to write another equation but as a logarithm form. So basically we're saying what would happen if we took the logarithm of both sides of this equation. So these are all true. So we have 1,000 is equal to 10 to the 3, 100 is equal to 10 to the power of 2 or 10 squared, etc. And this is the standard way to write powers, uh, perhaps if you're going to write something in scientific notation. So let's write these same equations as an equation with a logarithm. So I'm going to take the logarithm base 10 of both sides. So logarithm of 1,000 is the same as the logarithm of 10 to the power of 3. Now what we can do there is just say if we have a logarithm of 10 to the power of 3, we can bring the 3 down in front using that logarithm trick. So 3 times uh, log of 1,000, no, or sorry, log of 10. Now log of 10, if it's a base 10, is just 1. So that's nice and simple and pretty. So this is a nice way to write the exact same information using a logarithm. So let's do the exact same thing here, you'll see. So if we take the log of 100, we can write that as log of 10 to the power of 2, bring the 2 down in front using that logarithm trick, log of base 10 of, log base 10 of 10 is just 1 again, so this is just 2. And so this is going to be the same all the way down. So here we have log of 10, well that's just going to be 1, as we've been saying. Here we have log of 1, that's equal to 0. So here we have log of 0 0.1, and now I'm just reading off the exponents, so that's just going to be negative 1. Finally, log of 0 0.01 is just negative 2.